Good morning, modern steaders. The pigs are loving their new tiny home. Where's Chops? She's still inside sleeping. Morning, Chops. I'm gonna feed you guys up and in. There you go. We'll have to move them in a couple of days. Morning, girls. You girls ready? Say yes, we are. Morning, kiddos. I'm gonna milk Willow, and then we'll be right back. Boy, Blossom, you are noisy this morning. Good morning, little man. Oh, look at you, little P, getting your head right in there. Oh, you're so funny, little P. Right in the feeder with the big goat, huh? Little man comes over and waits for his scratches. Good morning. Good morning, little P. Magnolia. Magnolia's usually right behind Willow. We got two and a quarter cups of milk from Willow this morning. I've noticed when it's rained the day before, we get a little bit less milk the next day. I don't know if that's true. If you milk too or not, leave it in the comments down below. I'd love to know your experience. I got barn building on my brain this morning, guys. Uh, I know what I want to get done today, so I'm like, all right, trying to get focused and let's go get ready and get it done. <clears throat> I'm gonna feed the chickens and then we can start on that. Another week to a couple of days on this grass, and then we'll be moving New York City again. We have some good grass still over in this corner. Here come some chickens. All right, we need to get the tractor hooked up to the hay wagon so we can go get the next boards we're gonna need. A new step today, a new step, I love it. I took a picture of the plans we're going to be working on today, and this is what we're going to be doing. If you're new to the channel, we're building a post and beam barn kit we bought off the internet from JamaicaCottageShops.com. I'll have a link in the description down below. And I wanted to thank you for stopping over and checking out our post and beam barn build. If you're not already subscribed, now's a great time to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications. We're just about to hit 100,000 subscribers, so I wanted to thank all y'all. <sighs> I think today this pile of lumber is going to be down below and a good amount of this pile of lumber is going to be down there too oh mr figaro you're always getting into something here's the first couple of pieces of siding we're going to be using set those over here i have found staying super organized when i'm going through everything has made the build process go so smoothly we have two of the same there, stack them there, looks like another one right here, this is a 35, 34, yep, so two of the same. Thank you. 
And then we're gonna need 94, 12. We're gonna need like what? 50 of those? Yeah. 94, 12. We're gonna need 50 of them. So there's a bunch here, doubled up, doubled up, and a bunch in this pile. These are our main siding boards. This is our batten strips. Put those over here. Look at that, we're getting down to the bottom. are some nice wide boards. I like it. Well, that's the biggest load we've had on the trailer so far. We got all the siding boards that we're gonna need today, I do believe, on here. What do you think you're gonna do with that? You think your dad's gonna let you do that? Yeah. He's been waiting to do it. He's been waiting to do it? He's been waiting for the whole, this whole project to do this. I think she can't. I did it in my room. You did it to your room? Yeah, I did. And I even think I did a little bit in the living room. Yeah. I did the wall, the TV. That was a long time ago. Do you think you know what you're doing still? Yeah, I do. You remember how to use it? I push it in, I press it once. Safety first. First board going up. You're gonna let her do the first board? What? I wanna make sure we're good and flush. It goes four in each spot. Like right here, should I do it? Um, you should do it. So, go for it. So we're gonna come up here and do it right there. Make sure it's flat. As the first one all nailed in place. Here's another nice pretty board. Okay, Miss Livies. Hold on. All right. Try to keep it, the nail gun flat, and try to keep the side over there and work your way and try to okay. keep it straight across. You gotta go in line here. You gotta be 
careful. And done. Thank you. That's the spacer for the door. We're using this to space our siding off the ground. All right, Miss Livies. I decided I want to add an extra doorway in over here. So I'm going to cut some pieces, get the doorway in, and then we'll actually have to take this post out. Yep. So that's the nice thing about this kit is we're able to modify it easily. And that's one of the reasons we got it so we can keep customizing it. Now you're ready for work? Yep. All right. It was like, I don't find any safety goggles. So that's gonna come up first. One piece for up high, 34.
How's it coming? Awesome. I got the doorway closed in or opened. What do you think? Two more boards or a little more? More. More than two. More than two. I bet you we'll have to end up cutting the last one. No, maybe not. Where's she? Little. Safety is your number one priority, right? Yeah. That's right. Wow, I don't look that good in that. I don't you like you in try it on. I'll flush up the ends. All right, start right here. Right there, up mm -hmm. in the middle. On. Right there. That's we need the bottom board out and pushed over to the other side of the door. Did you get it? Yeah, I think I need to get it on this side. Though. That's fine. There you go. Nice. Looks pretty snazzy on the inside, too, I think. The siding isn't finished. We're going to put batten strips on the joints, but we won't do that until after we have pretty much the whole building done. So next step now is the roof rafters. I thought I was all done recording barn stuff for the day, but came out here got it looking at the rafters and stuff and looking at the piles and I'm like wait a minute I still got the tin roof can I get that on the trailer easy it's the ladder for the loft under it um we're gonna try to 
pick up the ladder and slide it over on the trailer with the roof on top of it. So, let's give it a try. We'll see what happens. Worst case scenario, we'll ruin the tin. Second to worst case scenario, we'll have to pick it up piece by piece. I think that should be fine. I think we're... There we go. That's a victory right there in itself. This little trailer is coming in so handy, guys. Ah, love it. They put that tin right on top of the ladder, perfect. Ah, so happy. How many eggs do you think we're gonna get today, Olivia? We got 18 yesterday, right? I think 17. I think 15. I should have brought Tanner out with us. He would have had a blast. Yeah, so there's two out. So get you, up, big row. you think 15 eggs, Gina? Yeah. Eighteen. What are you doing? You're gonna make this I did. Just not to the coop. Okay. <laughs> Here, hold this. Oh, one was smart enough. Oh. Thank you. There's a whole lot of eggs, guys. A whole lot of eggs. I haven't counted yet. Eight, nine. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 eggs, mama. I was the closest. 19 eggs. Thank you, ladies. And they're nice and pretty and clean. Oh, I got some leftover food for the pigs and some milk that we had left from when Willow wasn't producing any milk yet. Hey, piggers! Hey, piggos! I know you love your new pig palace and all, but you still need to come outside. Oh, yeah, look at all that deliciousness. We'll rinse out the bucket with some milk. And there you go. Yum. Nice seeing the siding on the barn. It just kind of changes the whole look. I added an extra door so this way we can go out the other eave overhang when that's all enclosed and sided in. It's one of the reasons why I bought the kit is it's very adaptable and we can change it as we go. That being said, Dom is giving us a promo code for 10% off any order on top of whatever other sales are going on at the time and that promo code ends I believe the end of June. I'm going to have links for that in the description down below but if you're thinking about making a purchase, that's the pretty good deal. I wish I had an extra 10% off my order when we purchased our barn. But So if you're looking to get something, I'd take the opportunity now to do that. Thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys. You are a huge blessing to us in our homestead. And we'll see you right back here in the next video. And we're going to be putting rafters on. That, I bet you, is going to be interesting. 
I've been thinking about how I'm going to be doing this step. So we'll see you right back here in that video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.